Krista Hughes. I'm the owner of Caring Transitions of Little Rock Metro. I just wanted to provide a little bit of a status update about where our company is today. As a company, we decided that obviously we had to stop the live estate sales that they could no longer proceed. And that was uh, in March, I guess, at the end of March where that decision was made. So April and May, we, um, we completely shuttered that side of our business down and went exclusively to CT Bids online auction program and grew that overnight quickly with our administrative capacity and was able to serve our clients that needed to be served during that time. At some point we decided we needed to start preparing for coming back online with our estate sales. So we issued out a survey and we sent that through email. We posted it on our Facebook page for people to help guide us in what their fears, concerns, desires, or expectations would be if they would even be comfortable returning to the live venue. And we received, I don't know, but it was actually a quite a good number of responses and uh, very helpful information. So we started and June and July have just, it just surpassed any conceivable expectation for, for the need for these events. And I, I, I wondered, will we get people? Well, they came in droves, you all came in droves. Uh, would they comply, you know, with the mask requirement, with the social distancing, and, and, and just being sensitive to how we had to work in that kind of an environment. And overall, I will say, we have been just so thankful and so pleased with how everyone has worked together to ensure that we are safe. We, we, we do try to follow the rules and we do try to make it a positive experience, but we know we have to ask for more patience because it's hot. We're having to ask people to wait to get inside the house because of the numbers that we can invite in at one time. Um, so it, there have been challenges, but overall, it has just been a remarkable return to that venue of, of service for us. And so I just wanted to thank everybody. Just I couldn't do this without the people that are on our front line that are working for us. I couldn't do this without our you know, clients having faith that we know what we're doing and we're gonna take good care of everything and, and without the people coming to shop. So it is just such a community-wide response. We are just not out of the woods with regard to the pandemic and the impact in our state and in our community. So I say all of this with caution because we don't know what will happen in a week or two. We, we just have to have fortitude to continue to do the, the things that the government and our governor and our health department is saying is, is necessary to stay safe. So with that, I will just say thank you for your continued support of us in our community. We look forward to having y'all at our next sale. If you have any questions about anything, please always feel free to reach out to us. The number is on the screen. Thank you so much.